What's up guys, today we're going to be opening a case of Maximum Gold, the newest Yu-Gi-Oh set. I'm actually really excited about this set. There's been a lot of craziness, like there's the Blue Eyes, which is pretty tough to pull. There's all these awesome reprints, the sweet new gold rare. There's also been crazy misprints pulled out of here that are costing like hundreds and thousands of dollars. So maybe we can pull some of those. I'm extremely excited to open this. So I'm going to open the first, this is not a case right here, this is just a box. A case contains four boxes. So I'm going to be opening up one of these boxes and then I'm going to open up the other three boxes, but I've already opened them out of all the packaging because Maximum Gold is known for doing a lot of packaging. So we're going to show you guys what the whole packaging looks like on one box. The rest will be already open so we can save a little bit of time. Also, I want to let you guys know that Sassiato is selling Maximum Gold. He sold me two cases. He is selling these these boxes right here. They have five mini boxes inside. The mini boxes have four packs for mini box. So 20 packs per box at $99.99. He's also giving you a discount if you buy more than one, but the link will be in the description. It's a pretty good deal because that's what I paid for my whole case. I paid $400. He's giving you even less if you buy more than one box, which is pretty cool. So go over there and check that out. Also, the giveaway for this video. Let's push this back. Dedication through light and darkness, invasion of chaos, mage power from Labyrinth of Nightmare, and United We Stand from Labyrinth of Nightmare. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite card from Maximum Gold. I'm actually really excited about it, so let's go ahead and crack into this. First, we'll check out the box. So you got the normal uh, gold. I don't have a lot of room. These are actually really, really big. So that's why we didn't do the whole case like on screen. But yeah, there we go. There's your dual links thing. We got this box, and then it's kind of a display thing. So now we have the five mini boxes. So you can uh, you can pop this up, you can set it up. It's just like the uh, Haunted Mind kind of setup. All right, then you get five of these mini boxes. Let's go ahead and get these out. We're going to get the display out of the way. Then we have the five mini boxes right here. Each of these has four booster packs in it. So this is the easiest way, I think. There's a little uh, tab right there that holds it together under the plastic. So I found this out once I was opening all these. It took forever. So that's what the negative part of opening these is it takes so long. Four packs. So let's go ahead and open these. See what happens. See if we can pull something cool. The number one card in here, I think, is Infinite Impermanence. So that's not even a surprise because every time Infinite Impermanence is in something, it's worth a lot. All right. Let's go with the first pack of Maximum Gold. I think you get two of the gold rares every pack. I'm not totally sure. I'm not, I'm not sure at all. Let's just get into it. I'm pretty excited for this. Here we go. We got White Prince. That's a nice reprint. There can only be one. Oh, my goodness. Look how shiny that is. Laundry Dragon Maid. Not sure what the value is. Wait. Oh, man. Is, is this a good sign that we're going to get a misprint? What even is going on over there? Is that... What is that? That looks super weird. That might be like a very slight one. They just had really weird print quality, and a lot of them are really cool. Oh, I just spoiled what we got. Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. The centering is terrible on it. I'm hoping that we get some crazy misprints. That would be epic like if we get like a blue eyes misprint guys that would be absolutely insane so first of all let's just check out this awesome rarity i'm not gonna lie this might be my favorite new rarity because i like collector's rare and i like starlight this rarity looks incredible i don't know about you guys maybe i'm maybe i'm getting a little too excited about it but i think it looks really good but let me know what you guys think about the new rarity i mean it i think it's awesome i think it's really cool it's definitely better than old gold rares. I did. I used to hate them, and then they kind of grew on me to where I kind of liked them. But now I'm uh, I'm sold on these. I think these are awesome. All right, here we go. Artifact Lancia. Was that in the second card last time? Maybe it was. Okay, I guess I'm not going to sleep all of these. Stardust Charge Warrior. Okay. So we're going to get two per pack. We're going to be opening 80 packs today. We're going to end up with 160 gold rares. Hopefully we can pull something good, you know? Well, we'll definitely pull something good, but hopefully we'll pull, like, you know, all the cards. That would be pretty cool. Aliester. Aliester? Ali. Al Alistair. Alistair, I think is how you say it. Look, check, check out up there. Looks like whitening. Ooh, that, that kind of looks bad. And Utopia the Lightning. That looks incredible. Okay, focus, please. Check that out. That looks so good. I just like how the texture... There's... Yeah, there is apparently foil shift on, like, potential on these, so that's kind of cool. We're definitely going to have to speed up. I'm going super slow. This is going to be a long video. Ooh, this is going to be a long video. Okay. Oh, Monster Reborn! I know it's not that expensive. That is super cool. Zodiac Dryden. I think Dryden, isn't Dryden, um, 
like pretty good now or is it like i think zodiacs are actually pretty decent now because i remember when i first got back into Yu-Gi-Oh, it was right after the zodiacs got like banned so it was they were not good anymore yeah i definitely glad that i did this ahead of time for the other three <laughs> okay here we go next pack of gold series maximum gold come on nurse dragon made okay good Madolce, a chicolate, chicka chicolate, chicolate, chicka chicolate, chicka. Look at those chicolates. Are those not the cutest things you've ever seen? Oh my goodness, that's the best part. All oh, spooky dogwood. Okay, awesome. This is gonna take forever to edit. Absolutely forever, because one, we have chicolates. Two, we have a million different prices. <laughs> Three, we have eighty packs. Oh whoa! Check how off center this guy is. Oh, oh, please give us some crazy, crazy, uh, card. Oh my goodness. Look at the corner. It looks terrible. <laughs> That's weird. Anti-magic arrows. That one's way off-centered as well. I think we can put this with our Pharaonic Guardian cards and do our, uh, Duel Links farming strategy. Anti-magic arrows, Gravekeeper's Vassal, and Secret Pass to the Treasure. <laughs> Classic. Okay. Cyber Dragon Infinity. Oh my goodness, the centering is like even worse. Oh my goodness, the centering is awful on these cards. Foolish Burial, cool. Oh, Red Eyes Black Dragon. Check out the centering. We're not grading this guy, that's for sure. <laughs> Red Eyes, we're definitely sleeping him up. Incredible. I think he's only like five or six bucks, but that's awesome. If we get like a misprint Red Eyes, that would be awesome. Foolish Burial Goods. I think the only, like, gold... Oh, I forgot to mention that they are gold gold letter rares. Okay, that card is bent. That card is bent. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, yeah, so the, the quality is not great on these cards. That is unfortunate. But uh, it's still really cool. Yeah, but gold letter rares. First time they've ever done it. Okay, look, these are, are these always in different spots in the pack? Because, look, these are back-to-back -back now. Droll! Droll and Lockbird got another reprint. That card has been reprinted into the ground okay i'm gonna open these up real quick i'm gonna open all three of these up real quick because opening these is taking forever all right we're back with all these packs here we go this is gonna be absolutely nuts here we go time to get rolling with these openings 80 packs of maximum gold you guys have asked for it harpy's feather duster let's go that's good for our 2003 format oh phantasme there we go Fantastic. I should probably be separating these gold rares. Yeah, into like a decent pile. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Now we got our pile situated. We're ready to go. Now we can pull some insane cards like Blue Eyes. Reinforcement of the Army. That's pretty cool. Polly. That's also really cool. To get in gold. I like that. We've got a massive stack. Can we get some misprints? I'm guessing that they would probably all be together. Like not just like one misprint. You know what I mean? Stardust Charge Warrior. That card's definitely dinged up on the top. Zodiac Chaka 9. <laughs> yeah, let me know if any of those. Oh, look. Our favorite card, Colt Wing. Made it from Judgment of the Light, and so did the Chicolates. They snuck on to the Hoot Cake, and they snuck in here into the set. Wolf Park. No, Nurse Dragon made nice. Eldritch the Golden Lord. Eldritch. Eldritch. Yeah, that's how you say it. That's very weird. That is the second best card in the set, I think. It's like 15 bucks or something, something around there. From when I checked, I checked today, so the, the prices had, you know, they'd come down to like a little bit more reasonable because usually when the set pops, they're a little bit crazy. Gaia the Dragon Champion. Foolish Burial. Another Droll. That's nice. Yeah, the number one card is, I said it already, Infinite Impermanence. So we want to get at least one of that guy. We'll kind of see maybe a little bit of case ratios. Probably can't do it just based off one case. Solemn Judgment awesome nibiru that's got reprinted again it got hit in ots 14 and in gold i think it's only around seven eight bucks definitely sleeping up solemn judgment because it's awesome that card's been reprinted a lot as well all right so we've seen the red eyes um i think i think dark magician's in here but i couldn't find it on the price guide okay levian ear is it like not in here or something because i know red eyes and blue eyes are okay here's totally awesome and Cyber Dragon Infinity, that's cool. Super cool, actually. Alright, totally awesome. It is was at like three bucks. I don't know if we'll go down more or not. Alright. 
Here we go. Give us something good. Oh! -ho! Speaking of something good, the Blue Eyes White Dragon. This guy might actually be hard to grade because of how crappy this printing is. So maybe we'll send this one in. Wait, the centering looks... It's a little bit off. The corners aren't too great. Yeah, it's play a nine. Oh, look, barrier statues. Another Utopia of the Lightning. That's cool. Yeah, cool. Get that Blue Eyes White Dragon. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. Constellar Pleidius. Zodiac Chacanine. Dark Lord Nastin. Man, there are so many packs right here. This is fun. I like Gold Series. Gold Series is definitely fun. Monster Reborn. Madolce Knights. Miscellanosaurus. Okay, I don't know if I've ever seen that card before. Where is the original printing for that card? Anti-Magic Arrows. House Dragon Maid. There are a lot of Dragon Maids in here. House Dragon Maid. That's a fusion. All right. We pulled blue eyes, we pulled red eyes, so we will find, maybe we'll find out if there's a Dark Magician. Elder Entity, Nis, and Kitchen Dragon Mate. I can't remember which of the Dragon Maids are good and which aren't. I don't know, they're probably all good, you know, in some way, but uh, I don't know what the most valuable one is. Whew, here we go. Rank Up Magic, the seventh one. Nibiru, nice. We still have not pulled Impermanence, though. Where's the Impermanence? Also, no, like, real misprints. We've had some weirdly printed ones, but... No misprints. That's kind of, like, the main hope here. Besides just pulling the cards. Herald of the Arclight. Super Poly. That's probably pretty good. Herald of the Arclight was worth something. So, in, like, its original, I think, a super rare printing. So, I, that might be worth a little bit. Super Poly and Nibiru. Both ultimate rare printings. Then they're in gold series. That's super weird. They're like, yeah, we're not making you... We're not going to let you be worth very much. Okay. Like, the way that these cards sit is super weird. Beatrice, Lady of the Eternal. Oh, Madolce. Chicolate, chicolate. Anti-Magic Arrows. Man, these cards are so shiny. They're crazy shiny. So unique. Parlor Dragon Maid. Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. There we go, the alternate art. Well, that is very cool. I'm, a, I'm definitely going to have to grab a reinforcement of the sleeves over here. Man, there is a lot of cool cards in here. Ash Blossom, Enjoy Springs. There are a lot of packs left. There are a lot of cards to sleeve in this set. You know, it just seems, feels like they all should be worth something. Eater of Millions. Chaos Dragon, Leviathan. Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. Okay, that's a good pack. Yeah, these packs, so they're averaging about $5 each if you buy them with Sassiato's link. So make sure you check that out. 5 bucks each is not too bad for Gold Series. And usually they, Gold Series tends to get more expensive rather than than Tank. And especially with all these good reprints, I would think. And having a blue eyes in it, you know, that's always a good thing too. Solemn Judgment. Oh. Here we go, Solemn. Unexpected Die. The Phantom Knight of Rusty Bardic. Bardic? I don't know. All right. Give us an impermanence. Give us another blue eyes. The Infernity Mirage. Okay, totally awesome there. That's good. And Opalosa. Opalusa. How do you say that? Opalusa is... He got... Or she got hit in Megaton. And then got hit in this. So they're just really doubling down on the reprints here. Opalusa. Opalousa. It's not a lousa. Sounds weird. Somebody's going to get mad if I call it Appalousa. I should probably just keep calling it Appalousa. Okay. All right. Beatrice, Lady of the Eternal. Elder Entity again. Okay. What can we pull? We've pulled some fire so far. Oh, that one's jacked. <laughs> the edges are destroyed. The centering is awful. No! There's a Machine Dupe, Charge Warrior. And man, they really have reprinted a lot of good cards in here. Machine Dupes. Alistair, Alistair the Invoker. Sky Striker Ace Kagari. 
That's a couple of good ones. Okay. Infinite Imperm. Is it short printed? I haven't heard. Nurse Dragon Maid. Okay. Cyber Dragon Infinity. Another nice one. See, I don't really know the values on these. But I, I know that they are formerly valuable. Probably going to stop sleeving stuff up because I just have so many cards sleeved right now. It's almost like the stack doesn't make any sense. It's like, well, it's all good. I don't know. Poly and Zodiac Dryden. Those are cool. Very nice. Gold series. Maximum gold. Infernity Mirage. Nice. House Dragon Maid. And Lady Debug. Lady Debug. Oh, Eldlitch the Golden Lord. And Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Talk about a pack. Wow, now those are definitely getting the sleeves. Man, these uh these ghost sisters have been printed to oblivion too. They already have a set where they're literally in it every time, like a starter deck. It's yeah, dual dual devastator. Man, that one's killed every time. Constellar Teldis or whatever. Oh, there it is! So there is one. Dark Magician. Now we've pulled them all. The Dark Magician. That is pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. Forbidden Chalice. Forgot that was in here. That's nice. Ash Blossom enjoys springs. Very nice. Very nice. Wow, we're, we're getting some good pulls, I feel like. I feel like we're getting good cards almost every single time. Chaos Dragon, Leviathan. Are both arts in here? That's so cool. That is super cool. All right, we still have a bunch of packs left, and we've pulled some really good stuff. We still have not pulled an Imperm, though. Pulled two Elglitch, but no Imperm. Cyber Dragon Infinity? Yeah, they have both arts of that, too. That's really cool. Another Red Eyes Black Dragon. Awesome. So, so far, these don't seem too hard to pull. I guess it was just a coincidence that early on nobody was pulling them. That is really cool. Really cool. Laundry Dragon made. Another droll. That's like a either at least a playset. It'd be nice to see what we get out of a whole case. Maybe we'll go over everything we got. Solemn Judgment. Another one. Cyber Dragon Core. Rank Up Magic. Lady to Buck. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Parlor Dragon Maiden. Miscellaneousaurus. <laughs> the craziness. Boral Sword. Oh, the alt art Boral Sword. Man, the problem with these cards, man, they are just, the edges are just not good. Miscellaneousaurus again. Okay. Here we go. Beatrice. I feel like we get that a lot. Ash Blossom. Yes. Yes. Very good. Very good. Ash Blossom. Next pack. Dark Lord Exel. Herald of the Arc Light. Not bad. Cosmo Dark Destroyer is in here. Okay. That's one. That's from our favorite set. Um, whatever it's called, I already. I just forgot what it's called. Dimension of Chaos. Yeah, Secret Rare in Docks. Herald of the Arc Light. Cosmo Town. I feel like we've actually pulled good. Now that I'm seeing some of the other ones we could have pulled, like we've actually pulled some really good cards. All right, just one Imperm so far. Chaos Dragon. We've pulled a lot of him. That guy we've pulled like five of as well. There's definitely like some shorter printed ones, I would say. Or it seems like. I, I can't say definitely with only one case and not even having opened all of it yet. Beatrice is definitely does not seem to be shorted. House Dragon made. We're getting down to the last 15 packs or so. It's so probably in like the last box or so. Alistair the Invoker. Eldlitch the Golden Lord. That's a playset. That's really good. Those are 15 bucks each, so that's pretty strong. Fortunately, they haven't been, like, too dinged up, it seems like. All right, Drowning Mirror Force. Anti-Magic Arrows and Cyber Dragon Infinity. 
All right. Can we pull another blue eyes? We've only pulled one blue eyes. Parlor Dragon made. Ash Blossom again. I will take that. We have pulled a lot of Ash Blossom. Like That's like four or five now. That's super good. Super good. Even though it has been printed a lot recently. Here we go. Phantom Knights and Cosmo Town, Link Karibo, and I mean Terraforming, that's a good rare. And Link Karibo, like there's all kinds of great stuff that have been reprinted. That are like former two or three dollar cards. Blue Eyes White Dragon! Okay, it's got dings on the top. This one's in worse condition than the first one. The texture on these is so cool though. That's awesome. Then we got a uh, Martial Metal. Okay. So now we have two of every starter, so that's good. We've got three red eyes and two uh, Dark Magician, two blue eyes. Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Infernity Mirage. There are a lot of good cards in here. A lot of good cards. Here we go. The Phantom Knights and House Dragon Maid. Yeah, it's so weird how the golds are just like, they're just like somewhere in the pack. You never know. Could be anywhere. Ash Blossom. <laughs> Another one. We're pulling this card like crazy. I figure it's worth like five bucks at least, right? It might be worth less because there's a lot of reprints, but I feel like it's pretty decent. Harpy's Feather Duster. Only our second one. Stardust Charge Warrior. That's pretty cool. Man, just look at this gold stack. Okay, it looks weird from the side. You can barely tell. Okay. Last like 10 packs or so. Out of 80. What can we pull here? Can we pull another Imperm? We've only pulled one. Rank Up Magic and another Cosmo Town. We have pulled a lot of those recently. First, I hadn't pulled it at all at the beginning. Now we pull them like crazy. Whew. Stratos, good. And Cyber Dragon Infinity. Okay, good cards there. Here we go. Boral Sword. Okay, that's like a playset. Phantasma, is that only our second one? I think it might be our only our second one. That's a pretty good pack, though, when you get Boral Sword and Phantasma in the same pack. Okay. Come on. Let's finish strong. Eater of Millions. Monster Reborn, I'll take that. Unexpected Die. Cosmo Dark Destroyer. Look at that centering. Wow, they have really... The centering is not good on some of these cards. No errors, though, really. I mean... That's unfortunate. Ash Blossom. <laughs> yes, Ash Blossom. That's a good one to get like eight times. I will take that. That's pretty crazy. We keep pulling it. Okay. Last four packs. So basically last mini box. Can we pull something crazy to end it? Tour got... Wait, What? Tour guide? We haven't seen one at all. Why does this look so blurry on the text? Does this not look weird? Time out. Is it double stamped or something? Look, check that out. Somebody tell me what the deal is with this. This seems like super thick for some reason. That's weird. I don't know what's going on with that tour guide. That's super weird. Let me. Somebody let me know. Oh, crap. It is like super weird. I mean, who? I mean, what do you expect of this this set? But pretty cool, pretty cool. First one, and a house dragon made. So maybe we did get some sort of mini error, but three more packs. That's very kind of weird looking. Elemental hero Stratos, nice play set. Cyber dragon infinity. Oh, there goes a totally awesome. I feel like I've missed some totally awesomes. Let me know if I did. So I can search through this massive pile of gold letter rares. <laughs> okay, two more packs. Let's see, here we go. Blue eyes! Yes, a play set of them. Oh, an impermanence! Look at that pack! What a way to end it. Blue eyes and impermanence. Okay, not quite end it. Second to last. Blue eyes, white dragon, our third one. And our second infinite impermanence. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. That is awesome. That is a great pack. 
All right, final pack. That was a crazy second to the last pack. We got infinite impermanence and blue eyes. I'm taking that all day. It's like a $30 pack. Here we go. What can we get in the last pack? Oh my gosh, here they go. Cyber Dragon Core. Dark Rebellion XC Dragon. We haven't got many of that. And a number 39. Okay. DD Warrior, ladies and here as well. All right, let's see what we got in all these packs. From our whole case, I'm going to go over kind of the cards worth around a dollar or more. There are a lot of them right now. Figure that will change, but for now, it's kind of insane. <laughs> what is it? A dollar and not? So the first, we got two polys. We got one tour guide. One Chaos Dragon. This art, they have the different art, but that one's worth less. Three Chalices. Three Solemn Judgment. We got uh, Chuck and Nines. We got five of those. We got three of the alternate art Stratos. We got three Monster Reborns. Oh, okay. maybe the Chaos Dragon's worth more. Okay, yeah, so there's four of this art, which are better. We got three Alistair the Invoker. Five of, or four of the Miscellaneous Dragon. Two Fantastical Dragons Phantasme. One of the alternate art Ghost Ogre. Three totally awesome gold letter rares, the only good one pretty much. Super polymerization. One of the alternate art Ghost Ogre. Or is that the regular art? I can't remember. And then we got th four Nurse Dragon made, one Kitchen Dragon made, um, three Boral Sword Dragon alt art, one Apollosa. Then into the bigger hitters, we've got uh, three Red Eyes. We got one, two, three, four, five Droll and Lockbird. That's pretty awesome. We got three Nibirus. That's awesome. Two Hoppy's Feather Dusters. These are actually worth like seven, eight bucks because the Unban, I guess. We got two Dark Magicians and then an insane amount of Ash Blossom. There's actually the alternate art in here too. We pulled zero of the other art. Well, this is the alternate art. They're the regular art. We pulled one, two, three, four, five, six of the alternate art and zero of the regular art. That's super weird. Then we got three Blue Eyes White Dragons, third most valuable card in the set. We got three El Eldritch, the mo second most valuable, and two Infinite Impermanence. So overall, I think we did pretty good. I'll plop up how much value we got back from our $400 spent. If you guys are interested in buying some gold, make sure you check out Sassy Auto's listing below. If you buy multiple, you get a discount, so pretty awesome. That's for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys later. Peace. It's the original art. Yes! Yes! Okay, y'all, actually first pack! Yeah!